we can only understand St. Clair through St. Francis because the two really are intertwined. <clears throat> but just as a reminder, Francis's name, last name was Bernadoni. His name was Francis Bernadoni. His father's name was Pietro. They were Italian people. They lived in the 13th century, just at the time that Europe was coming out of the Dark Ages. And so the economy began to boom during that time. And for the first time in probably five or 600 years, trade was beginning to develop among the uh, European countries. Pietro, Francis's father, made a fortune on the beginning of trade by trading in fine fabrics. He only had one son, and his son was Francis. And that man absolutely doted on that boy. He gave Francis whatever the boy wanted, and the man was very wealthy. And he dressed his son in the finest silks and brocades, and that boy loved that. And Francis, in his long, young life, turned into a party guy, extremely wealthy, very handsome. He loved parties, and he was very popular. And attending his parties was a young woman whose name was Claire. Apparently, Claire was extraordinarily beautiful, but she was a little bit of a wallflower. She was kind of introverted. And although she fell head over heels with this handsome young man, Francis, she never made an issue about it, and Francis really didn't notice her. Claire loved Francis from afar. When Francis converted by the grace of God, um, he embraced poverty. It, he literally took off in the center of the town of Assisi. He literally stripped himself of all the clothing that the father would drape on him and gave himself to the church. And he embraced poverty. When Claire saw that, guess what she did? She did the very same thing. So much in love from afar was, did, was Claire in love with Francis that she imitated him. And as Francis formed his Franciscan order, so Claire formed the poor Claire sisters. She made herself poor, but she never could get rid of her beauty all of her life. In order to hide her beauty, she put on this massive religious garb and cloistered herself away for the rest of her life. What love. As far as we know, Claire and Francis met only one time in their life while they were religious. We can say that the lives of St. Francis and St. Clair are about two human beings, but really the lives of Claire and Francis are about two human beings profoundly dedicated to the work of God.